Welcome back to my road to completion guide for Demon Souls. This is episode 6. The path to the next boss is full of traps and deadly enemies, so follow my steps exactly to stay safe. Since we're wearing the thief's ring, the flying enemy shouldn't be much of a threat which allows us to focus on the skeletons. The best play is to run toward the arch stone to get the height advantage, otherwise we'd also have to worry about falling off the ledge. Simply ease around the corner and spam flame toss to kill the skeletons guarding the fog gate. If these enemies become aggressive, fall back to the same platform we did earlier to get the hot advantage. Take this opportunity to set up a safety save. Kill the reaper with poison to get rid of all the enemies in the area. Once again, set up a safety save. The trick to this sequence is to kill the reaper behind the rock without getting hit by the other enemies. Here's what we need to do. Turn the corner. Walk to the fifth pillar on the right and throw poison toward the enemy at the end of the corridor. If thrown correctly, the poison will hit the reaper as well. Now all we have to do is turn around and keep killing the enemy spawning behind us until the reaper dies.
The final sequence is coming up, so make another save. The white orbs explode if you get too close, so be careful. Since we have to grab a ring in this area, the strategy is to get rid of the first three orbs to give us safe passage in and out of the tunnel. Replace the cling ring with the ring of avarice and set up another safety save. Grab the legendary soul, then trigger the boss fight. It's possible to kill this boss with poison for maximum safety, but we can throw in homing soul arrow as well to speed up the process. The trick is to hit him once, wait for him to scream, then hit him again. spam spells because that makes him extremely aggressive. He also swings wildly throughout the fight, so keep your distance and be prepared to dodge if he gets too close. Defeat this boss to unlock another trophy, plus we'll shift the world tendency slightly white.
grab the hero demon soul from the art stone and travel back to the nexus. Buy as much fresh spice as possible, then travel to the depraved chasm in the Valley of Defilement. I can forge weapons for you. You come back alive. I need your business. Take a death on purpose to shift the world's tendency slightly black. Recover our souls, then travel to the altar of storms. Set up a safety save before fighting the next boss. Run through the area in a zigzag pattern to avoid getting hit by projectiles. Our goal is to grab a weapon called Storm Ruler so we can post up and kill enemies from a safe location. Once we make it here, move into the left corner and equip Storm Ruler. Since we're in a corner, the enemies behind and to our left can't hit us. It'll take a few seconds to equip Storm Ruler, so just make sure the enemies directly in front of us are facing in the opposite direction. Once we have the weapon equipped, press triangle to place it in both hands and start killing the enemies. Eventually the boss will fly low enough so we can hit it. Remember, always stay in this area for protection.
Killing this boss unlocks the Storm King's trophy, plus it shifts the world tendency to pure white. Grab the Storm Demon Soul and travel back to the Nexus. Increase faith to 19, repair items, then buy more spice and grass. I can forge weapons for you. Do come back alive. I need your business. Oh, I've not I have some precious news. Good gear. Finish up by paying another visit to Stockpile Thomas. Store all ball souls and all non-equipped items except for the Lotus, Crescent Falchion Plus 4, and Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. Best of luck to you. Travel to the depraved chasm and die on purpose to shift that world's tendency slightly black. Recover our souls and travel to the monolith forest. Use this opportunity to farm 255 souls so we can push our intelligence to 40 and faith to 20. The storm ruler will break during this process, but repairs can be made at the blacksmith. I'll demonstrate the farming process before moving on with the guy.
I can forge weapons for you. Consume the legendary soul we picked up earlier and level up our character. Thou seek, then touch the demon. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. I shall await thy return, Slayer of Demons. Remove Storm Ruler and equip the Crescent Falchion plus four. Visit Stockpile Thomas so we can lighten our load. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch. Talk to the NPC around the corner for more stone of ephemeral eyes. You there? I can sense it. And you are battling those two. Our merciful God is I will share with you everything. May the heavens gaze from Bassa. Learn and attune second chance with the hero demon soul. Thanks to you, I was able to now I stay. If you wish for I will cleanse them. Buy more grass and travel to Upper Latria. Some precious new stuff. Good gear, huh? You won't find it. We've already completed the events for this art stone that require pure white world tendency. So now let's shift the world tendency to pure black. We can use our stone of ephemeral eyes to shift into body form, die on purpose, and repeat. Each death will shift the world tendency slightly black, but we will not see the effect until we fast travel using the art stone. This will make more sense at 28 minutes, 59 seconds.
Fast travel using the arch stone and make sure the world tendency is in pure black before moving on. Remember, pure black world tendency is represented with small particles coming from the center of the eye, under the title card, or in the world tendency menu. Now we can replace the Ring of Avarice with the Ring of Magical Sharpness and set up a safety save. My name is Exonovit, and I'll see you in Episode 7. Be good.